Hey, what's up guys? This is Project Anarchy Rush. Okay, so um, today I will be giving you a Visual Basic tutorial and you probably already know what it is because the title of the video um, but in case you didn't read it um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get your computer name. Um, now this is if you don't want to have to like open your system and then go to like mine is Benjamin HP but in case you don't want to have to do that then um, this is what I'm going to be showing you is how to make a program in Visual Basic do it for you alright so go ahead and open your Visual Basic mine is 2010 Start a new project. Uh, Windows Form Application. Okay. Now for the name, you can go ahead and name it whatever you want. I don't care. Um, I'm just going to name it YouTube um, PC Name Tut. Okay. Now click OK, and then when your form loads, this is this is what you do to get started. Okay, so what you're gonna need is a label, and once you have your label, go ahead and uh, keep it whatever you want. Adjust the font size; it doesn't really matter. Um, but just to make sure you guys can see it. I'm going to adjust the font size to mm, about 10. Let's do 12. So that way you can really see it. Okay. So I'm just going to put here computer name and then colon. Okay. Oh, and right after colon. I'm going to put a space. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now put a button. Doesn't matter where you put it. Just make a button. And then I don't know why the font inside the button is huge. <laughs> it shouldn't be like that. Let's put it back down to like 8. Yeah. Okay. Now name the button, whatever you want. I'm going to put it PC name. I'll just, no, I'll put PC ID. Okay. Okay, double click on that. And then once you're in here, you're going to want to type... Okay, that's label 1. So what you're going to want to type is this label one dot text equals computer name colon space and then that and then put an and sign and put my dot computer dot name there you go and actually I spelled it wrong so put label I, I do that a lot I put label instead of label whoops okay and that's literally all you do so there it is um, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna drag it over Okay, so that was that, but um, sometimes it will um, like malfunction, have errors or something. Like if your computer doesn't actually have a name, then it will give you a big error and tell you to exit the program immediately. Well, you don't want that, do you? So let's put try, and then after you put try don't worry that's an error obviously because we didn't put the rest of the commands so after you put try 
put the label one dot text equals computer name all that stuff that we just typed earlier and then put catch as oh wait yeah x as exception I am failing today and then if it has this so what it's going to be doing is try this and if it has an error which it will catch the error and this is what it's going to do if it has an error so msg box for message box oops and then put anything you really want um, for instance I'll just put like there is a error okay and put over here and try and that's pretty much it so now it will have it won't show you any errors and then you can put this in your application if you want um, so yeah there's that um, I'm going to be posting some more Visual Basic tutorials soon um, this is Visual Basic tutorial number one and please subscribe to subscribe to me to follow up on every other video that I'm going to be doing in the future and have a nice day.